Do you want to hear about a plant-based treatment for anxiety and possibly depression? Well, lean in, that's what's next. I'm Dr. Tracy Marks, a psychiatrist, and I make mental health education videos. I'm excited to talk about a super promising natural remedy for anxiety and anxious depression, and that is lavender in pill form. I've talked before about aromatherapy and how it has a mental effect because of the direct connection between your olfactory nerve connecting your nose to your brain. And aromatherapy has been around for centuries. But this is different. If you've used aromatherapy before by inhaling essential oils, you probably notice that the effect doesn't last very long. It lasts only as long as you're exposed to the oil and then maybe a short while afterwards. And it's generally not recommended to simply take drops of the oil and put them in your mouth because the oil is very concentrated. Well, the German company Schwabe Pharmaceuticals helped us out with this by creating a proprietary capsule of 80 milligrams of lavender augustifolia, and they call it Selexin. It's sold under the, as a prescription drug in Germany under the brand name Lacia, and I may be mispronouncing that but you can get it over the counter here in the US. And here's how good this is. Silexin has a lot of strong research behind it. One study tested it in people with generalized anxiety and showed that Silexin was more effective than 20 milligrams of Paxil. Paxil, generic name paroxetine, is an antidepressant that's FDA approved for panic disorder, generalized anxiety disorder, and social anxiety. And it's a big deal for a single drug to get a approval for all three of those indications. Another study showed that Silexin was just as effective as 0.5 milligrams of lorazepam, brand name Ativan. And that's a big deal for it to work as well as a benzodiazepine. The strongest research has been in using Silexin for anxiety, but there's also some studies showing improvement in depression symptoms and anxious depression. What makes lavender able to do this? Lavender is an aromatic flowering plant in the mint family. The plant oils have, contain phytochemicals that have a mental effect. And in this case, the active chemicals are linalool and linalool acetate. These oils are volatile, which means that they take on a gas form. Inhaling the gas is one of the bases of aromatherapy. But for Silexin, you're ingesting the oil as a soft gel that's been formulated to be safe for ingestion. How do these oils improve anxiety? They increase serotonin and they block NMDA receptors. In my video on magnesium for anxiety, I talk about how magnesium also blocks NMDA receptors. What's the big deal with NMDA receptors? These receptors control glutamate secretion. What's glutamate? Glutamate is a chemical that activates cells. Overactive cells cause dysfunction. You can think of glutamate as pressing on the accelerator. Glutamate works in concert with GABA, which is a chemical that slows cell activity. It presses on the brake, so glutamate speeds up and GABA slows down. Benzodiazepines like Xanax, Clonopin, and Ativan work by activating GABA to slow things down and calm you. So when things like magnesium, or in this case, Silexin, block NMDA, it blocks glutamate and takes the foot off of the gas so that you can decelerate. A couple of caveats here. The Paxil study used 20 milligrams of Paxil against 160 milligrams of Silexin. 20 milligrams is not that much Paxil to treat on fire anxiety. Usually people need between 40 and 60 milligrams of Paxil. Not everyone, which is why this is still a good study, but if you have anxiety that has required high doses of antidepressants to treat it, the maximum dose of 160 milligrams of Silexin may not work as well as your medication does. And the same goes for the study comparing Silexin 80 to Ativan 0.5. 0.5 of Ativan is usually a starting dose, and if you've been taking it for a while, you may now be up to one or two milligrams. So what it's looking like is Silexin is best for people with mild to moderate anxiety. I haven't seen any precautions about taking it with other medications. So one possibility is that if you're already on an antidepressant, Silexin may be something that helps you reduce your antidepressant dose. But of course, you should consult with your doctor about reducing or tapering off medications. 
The recommended dose is 80 to 160 milligrams. Some studies used 80 and others used 160. It's always best to start low and then move up as needed. And similar to the way antidepressants work, you have to take it daily to, and give it two weeks to see the results. As for side effects, the main effects are lavender flavored burps and sedation. It does weakly increase estrogen levels, which can mean breast development in boys and early breast development in girls. So it's generally not recommended for children under 18. And another caution is if you have an estrogen responsive tumor, like with breast cancer, you should check with your doctor before taking Silexin. Where can you get it? Nature's Way makes a version of this called Calm Aid. I hope this was helpful for you. Thanks for watching and see you next time.